Hey everyone, anyone out there? I wanted to come back and talk to you a little bit more about this upcoming class that I'm offering on April 6th, this online class, um, because I've gotten some feedback already and I thought that it would be really important that I come back on and just touch upon a few things. And also, um, not coincidentally, I've had a couple experiences that um, are perfect for this course. <laughs> Go figure, right? Um, so I wanted to just talk for a minute about being courageous in your confidence, especially as um, someone who might identify as being a highly sensitive person or an empathic person. Um, and you have really specific gifts, of course you do, because nobody can do what you do. You're a unique uh, spirit and individual, and you're here to offer what you offer. However, I find that a lot of people that I work with, whether um, they're in my classes or they're in my sessions, um, are healers as well but have come across experiences and instances where um, they've been attacked in some way, um, mostly just verbally, um, and judged and insulted. And so they've kind of taken a step back in that experience and just sort of, you know, gone back into hiding like um, the sensitive introverts we are. <laughs> and I experience that even still. However, I've gained some really powerful tools and have moved through experiences with a different perspective and can now move through that uh, experience quickly by reading through the judgment and seeing that it's not me that that person's judging, it's actually themselves and, and they're quite judgmental or maybe even that um, they secretly want to come out of the closet too, you know, um, and they see that you are and they see your confidence and they kind of want to stifle that for you. And um, so I just see that that we experience this commonly. And that's one of the reasons that I'm offering this course on um, energetic plant medicine for boundaries, because some of the plants I'm going to talk about are so powerful and they have so much to offer. And they have really supported me when other methods um, on boundary work or spiritual boundary work um, didn't work at all. Whether it just be visual visualizations of like a smoke screen or um, like a turquoise bubble or, you know, just some, some kind of protective visualizations. None of that stuff worked for me. Things would come right through and I would get migraines and headaches um, and I would get drained really quickly. So, of course, there's a lot of ways to work on healthy boundaries and strong boundaries. And what I'm offering is just one of the ways. But I think a multitude of tools is really important to have um, in your pocket. And I'm really excited about this class. I also wanted to um, talk about just a couple of the plants. Um, I wanted to let you all know that not all of the plants that I'm going to be talking about are poisonous or toxic. Um, because there is quite a few plants out there that um, in flower essence form work on boundary work, emotional boundaries, energetic boundaries, or even like pink yarrow, which can start to work with you on um, not just your own emo emotional boundaries, but checking in on how you are behaving around other people's emotional boundaries. So that's a really interesting plant to tap into. Um, but some of the plants that I'm going to be talking about, if at least if you're living in New England or in Vermont, where most people have um, a pretty significant perennial garden, you have some of these plants in your garden. Um, and it's just about, you know, widening your perception a little bit about these plants. I think we have so much fear instantly around the poisonous plants. We all are like, ah, we can't touch that. We need to pull it out of our garden or uh, whatever and we're just not taking the moment to to see that they also um, are healers too 
So one that you might have in your garden is foxglove, right? That's a beautiful perennial. I see it all over New England in gardens. And one of the toxicities of it that I know about is that if you eat um, parts of the plant, like the flowers, um, it can cause like an arrhythmia on the heart and even stop your heart. Um, so it has a, a decent toxicity there. <laughs> Don't eat it. Um, but you can touch it and you can garden around it. Um, but in an energetic perspective, when you sit and you work with foxglove and listen to foxglove, and we're gonna talk about that and met methods to do that in the class, um, you realize that, that foxglove energetics are a tool for protecting the heart. So our heart space can the energetics of your heart space or i guess you could even call it the heart chakra moves about 15 feet um, from your body in front of you and there's all sorts of science coming out now and new findings and new articles about the heart space having its own intelligent makeup and its own like antenna separate from the gut and from the brain um, and so Foxglove can be a really beautiful ally for protecting the heart space and maybe even cleansing and clearing. Another one that I really love that I have in my garden is monkshood, uh, which is a very tall, beautiful perennial, typically um, purple plants. And it is deadly by touch. So the fresh opening leaves, you really shouldn't be touching, but mostly the, the fresh root um, you need to wear good gloves if you were going to be digging that plant and moving it around. Um, however, with monkshood, um, and we're going to touch upon homeopathics and flower essences in this course as well, and with monkshood, when um, properly formulated in um, proper dose, okay, so in homeopathic proper dose it's used for nerve pain okay and this and and i could use belladonna for a second and say belladonna is another toxic plant but when used in homeopathic which is a very high dilution we'll go over details about that in the class um, it's actually used for migraine pain so belladonna is beautiful for that really sharp sharp harsh pain of a migraine I use belladonna and homeopathics for my migraines and it's it's so so helpful um, but back to monkshood if you look at monkshood for a moment in your garden or you look it up online you'll see that it's this really tall um, stalk and it has all of these purple flowers kind of lined up on the sides it reminiscent of a spine right so when I think of monkshood being supportive for nerve pain, that brings my mind to the spine itself. And I, and so in using the energetics of monkshood, you're dealing with support and protection around the spinal cord, which is a place of tremendous flow of information. You hear a lot of people talk about um, just the back of the head here, the back of the neck being like, the mail slot or a place where downloads come in. Um, I've heard that a lot. And so that's just part of, you know, the spinal cord being this, having this um, mysterious flow of information and communication in the body, never mind the obvious physical communication that happens in the spine for the body itself. Um, so those are a couple plants that are poisonous but are incredibly powerful and supportive um, and it's a beautiful thing to dip in um, to the to the more toxic plants in the world and just just from a distance a safe dif distance learn about them and understand them and see that they have medicine to offer us too um, and that's one of the many reasons I'm offering this course um, and my ebook that I just put out that you can receive by going to my website and sub subscribing to my monthly missive, which I'm working on tonight, uh, it should come out soon for everybody, um, by signing up for that free monthly newsletter that I send out to everyone that keeps you up on events and um, a personal letter from me and 
resources and recipes and all kinds of things, you automatically receive that ebook. And the ebook was just a starting point for this course. And that ebook is full of all of my personal tools on creating energetic boundaries and working on that. And, and if you're a healer and you have a healing space, if it's in your property or on your land, all of these tools are just going to help you over time and in practice build, build, build on um, those important boundaries that you need to hold space for others. So huge. Um, so again, this class that I'm offering is happening on April 6th and it should be most of the day and I will put the link in the comments below. You can also go to mountainhollowmedicinals.com forward slash um, energetic boundaries. I think, I hope <laughs> I've had a kooky day, so I hope that's right. Um, and I just wanted to tune in and offer this information and maybe um, offer some ease to some of you who might go to the page that this class is on and see the images of these really powerful, big poisonous or toxic plants and feel really scared. And I just wanna say that that fear is really interesting and it's really important to stop for a moment and say, you know, or just kind of go inward and say, why do I, why am I feeling that fear about this plant? Um, and just check in with, with that. The, the, and we'll talk about that in the class too. Um, so check it out, read about it. Um, Ask me any questions if you have any. I'm really looking forward to t um, dropping in with those of you who join me. Thank you.